Hey guys, so, well, this will be a compression test. Now on this video, I'm going to do a compression test on actually these two in one video here. So it'll be a compression test on the Echo SRM225 and the Echo PAS230. And so without further ado, we'll begin the compression test. Alright, first we'll start out with the SRM225. So let, let me get its spark plug out. Alright, so let me go get my compression tester. Okay, get the compression tester in and only just have it on there snug. That's just all you need. And with the throttle squeezed wide open, I'm going to pull it until the needle stops moving. And that's the result right there, around 95 PSI. Hmm. I guess maybe if it could just be with the I-30 recoil starter, but hmm, I don't know about that. But if the machine had less than 90 PSI, then it just wouldn't run. But that's not too bad. So now I'll uh, get the compression tester off of the SRM-225 and then put it on the PAS-230. Alright, so now here's the compression test for the PAS-230. So now I got the throttle squeeze wide open and I'm going to pull it until the needle stops moving. Hopefully if it won't move around, if y'all can be able to see it. If it does, I'm sorry. And there's the result almost close to 130 PSI so that's actually pretty good for a three-year-old unit and that was the compression test on the Echo SRM225 with just a little bit under 100 PSI not too bad and the uh, PAS230 which had just almost close to 130 PSI so both of them, not too bad. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And so thanks for watching.